Vince Lordy Bob here today, and we have a special meal. I had some of this last week, and I thought it was delicious. It's called baked pesto chicken. It was uh, designed, this recipe <clears throat> was developed for working with chicken breasts. I like boneless chicken thighs better than I like chicken breasts, so we're going to use boneless chicken thighs. So we have one package, boneless chicken thighs. We have a container of basil pesto sauce. I'm going to use the whole container. Salt, pepper, we're going to use mozzarella cheese slices, and Parmesan cheese, and three Roma tomatoes. And we're going to cook it in our <clears throat> New Wave oven uh, pan that comes with it. We're going to do it on the two inch rack in our oven and uh, we're going to cook it first of all on one side of the chicken then we're going to flip the chicken put all the pesto sauce and the tomatoes and the cheese and everything else on top and then we're going to cook it for 25 minutes and uh, like I said I had some last week it was delicious this is a recipe that comes from CookPad and it's on the site http colon white white get in my belly dot com baked pesto chicken so if you want to look it up look it up there or just write down the uh, recipe from what we've told you thus far I also have my gloves for working with gloves so I won't have so much trouble cleaning up today and uh, hey when I get the pan ready with the chicken we'll come back okay friends we're back we've uh, taken out our chicken, our boneless chicken thighs, and set them out in the pan. We put salt and pepper on them, and we're going to cook them on one side only at first before we start adding the other ingredients. Now on our new wave oven <coughs> chart, it tells us for boneless chicken, use the three inch rack and 11 to 13 minutes aside. Now, because I did this last week, I recognize we're going to be cooking this for a while um, longer and to keep from burning the mozzarella cheese, we're going to use the two inch rack and the chicken is just some pieces frozen in it. A little bit of frozen uh, meat still in there, so we're going to do 14 minutes aside. So we got it ready place it on the two inch rack, put it on the lid, cook time, one, four, start. See you back as soon as it gets done on that side. Okay friends, we're back. Our 14 minutes in the new wave oven was just absolutely perfect. One side was perfectly done and we're ready now. I flipped the chicken thighs over in the pan and now we're going to add the other ingredients. Remember the pan's hot so get your pot holders out and uh, first thing we're going to do we're going to salt and pepper again Now, <clears throat> I cut the tomatoes into thirds. Each Roma tomato I cut into slices that are approximately one third each. And I'm going to use the slices that uh, don't have skins on them first. But the first thing we apply is the pesto sauce. So get yourself a spoon and go to it. Try and spread it out evenly over your chicken thighs. Don't be stingy. You want to use the whole jar so the taste is just wonderful.
and it really one jar is just perfect for one container of boneless chicken thighs. Perfect. Wouldn't change thing. All right. Put that down. And uh, now we're going to put the Parmesan cheese on. In the recipe it says to do this afterwards, but if you put this on top of the mozzarella cheese, while the cheese is cooking, it'll just pop the Parmesan cheese off and you won't be able to enjoy as much of it. So I'm going to put the Parmesan cheese on now. This to use sliced Parmesan cheese, uh, shredded. I like this stuff; it's just great. It goes on pizzas well too. And we have it now. Uh, let me show you what it looks like. It's ready now for the tomatoes. You see there? Let me get my light back on here. That'll help you. I've got you in the dark and have forgotten all about it. Now that'll make it better. So see, it's good enough to eat right now, doesn't it? Smells good too. That pesto sauce is really, really nice. So I'm going to take the Roma tomatoes and I'm going to put one, put the open, the, the ones that have no sides on it first and then the best of the remaining ones skin side up. Okay. And I tell you, after having had this before, I'm going to put these in just because there's enough room to do it. Then I'll have a little more tomato later. Alright, now we're ready for the mozzarella cheese. Let's see how this looks. See, we got the tomatoes, one per chicken thigh. And now we get the mozzarella cheese and do the same thing. Very good. And now we're ready to go back in the oven. And as I mentioned, we're on the two inch rack. Try and keep from burning the cheese so it won't be so brown. Put our new wave oven head back on. Cook time, 25. See you then. Okay friends, we've got our new wave oven pesto chicken, basil pesto chicken today, and they turned out absolutely perfect, couldn't have been better. Let me show you, got two plates of three each, out of that, feed three people, man do they look good, they smell even better, and they taste even better than that. <clears throat> well I'm going to have some for lunch today. I'm already cooking some hamburgers in my new wave oven. I just cleaned the 
pan out and put four more good hamburgers in there and cooking them. We'll eat on them <clears throat> along the way as well this week. Have a great day. This is Lloydy Bob saying, see you later, bye. Remember, friends, God loves you. And if you want to learn about that, take your Bible, that's God's Word to you, and go to John chapter 3, and you'll learn all about it. Have a great day. See you later. Bye. This is Lloydie Bob saying goodbye.